During the oversight tour by the Parliamentary Committee on Natural Resources, under the guidance of the Electricity Regulatory Authority, the focus was put on the assessment of the performance and the state of electricity infrastructure in relation to the sector budgetary framework. Duties in oversight is to see whether government is getting value for money, and I can't applaud government anymore when I see such an infrastructure being installed in the place. The submarine electricity site at Ibukakata mainland provides the hope to the people living on Kalangala Highland. The infrastructure is complete transport electrons through Lake Victoria to connect islanders to the national electricity grid. Using the submarine cable that now connects the main grid to the islands. We are doing this basically to improve the reliability of power on the islands, but also to manage the cost of power on the islands. Now the power which is being taken to Bugala is coming all the way from Masaka on a normal 33 kV line, which then, uh, which, which then terminates into a cable from this point where we are, and the cable is uh, 6 kilometers underwater up to another similar structure which is on the other side of the island. Legislators commended the electricity sector as this development will bolster social economic transformation. All along we've been having uh, many power plants in the island but now with this project worth seven million US dollars uh, the mainland is now connected to the island. So the, the, the island of Kalangala and Buvuma now have reliable power. The power tariff in Kalangala, it has been on a high, it has been on a high price. So with the, this connection, it will lower the cost of doing business in Kalangala and even here in Bukakata. Meanwhile, committee members advised the electricity and energy sector to devise means of establishing a locally dedicated company to construct power substations instead of procuring high-cost foreign investors. So as a committee, we are going to look more critically on this matter. If it means amending the PPDA Act, we shall do so. If it means uh, providing mechanisms of how we can nurture our nascent contractors, we should be able to do that. We have so many children, government has invested a lot of money in the education of our children, but children are floating with degrees in engineering. And that is why when we arrived here, we were briefed that the work that was abandoned by Insulax, that he, uh, became comp uh, co bankrupt, is now being undertaken by the transmission company. So they have uh, their groups, they call them gangs, that are located across the entire country. They have uh, the Eastern Ganga, the Northern, the one for the Western side. And these gangs are facilitated with equipment, both for live line. Live line is where they work on the line when it is live. And then also they work on the line that is de-energized. De so it is uh, an issue of continuing to better our equipment that they use to do the work with modernized technology. But it is something that the regulator has already started providing for the transmission company. The findings of the Parliamentary Committee on Natural Resources will provide a yardstick on determining vital location to the sector, especially programs intended to provide electricity to rural communities. Abdul Nasir for UBC.